Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you click the small plus sign next to the Access Excel DAO folder in the Create New Connection section of the Database Expert, you'll be presented with the Access Excel DAO dialog box. We use this dialog box to create a data connection to a Microsoft Access database, a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, or one of the many other file types using DAO, which stands for Data Access Objects, as the connection type. And this is versus an ODBC, or Open Database Connectivity type connection. DAO is an object that works with Microsoft's JET database engine, like all Microsoft Office applications. Once you have a DAO object created, like a spreadsheet or a database, you can then use the JET database engine to manipulate the object. ODBC is simply a standard that allows any application to communicate and manipulate a variety of different database applications by using a standardized set of SQL, or often called SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language Statements. SQL is the language used by all relational database applications to extract information from database tables. Now because you can use DAO with many types of database and spreadsheet objects, you can also use this connection type to create a connection that uses DAO for data access with DBase3, DBase5, Excel 3 through 8, an HTML import file, Lotus Worksheet 1, file types, Lotus Worksheet 3 through 4 file types, Paradox 3 through 5 file types, or simple text database files. To make a DAO connection, click the ellipsis mark button at the right end of the database name text box to launch the open dialog box. In the open dialog box, you'll then use the look in drop down at the top of the dialog box to navigate to the folder which contains the database file or spreadsheet file that you want to use as the data source. Click on the desired file in the list of available file types and then click open to set the selected file as the data source for the report. Next, use the database type drop-down to select what type of data object the file that you just selected is. If you need to create a secured connection to the data file, then check the secure logon check checkbox, which enables the next four fields which you can use to set the secure access information. Microsoft Access in particular supports both file level and user level security on its databases individually and in combination. So if you're trying to access a Microsoft Access database that has both types of security applied, then we must use the DAO or OLEDB dialog box to set the data source. You can't use the ODBC connection type as ODBC can't support multiple passwords. Now if there is a database password applied to the selected file, you can type the password into the database password text box. This would be the file level security password. In the session user ID text box, you can type the username used for your user level access to the database if needed. In the session password text box, you can enter the password for your user level session user ID security identification. You can click the ellipsis mark button at the right end of the System Database Path text box to launch the open dialog box once again and allows you to select the Access Security file or .mdw file that's associated with the Access database if applicable. So once you've set any necessary options in this dialog box, you would then click Finish at the bottom to set the selected data source. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.